They are sleek, fast and futuristic. The Vande Bharat Express trains are a symbol of India's modern rail ambitions, designed to run at a blazing 160 km per hour. But wait, why they are often cruising at just 80 km per hour? What's holding them back? But hey, while we progress with this video, can you please subscribe to this channel? Development of India's semi-high-speed rail started in 2016 for launch in 2018, also known as Train 18 or the Vande Bharat Express, hits the track in 2019, was India's first indigenous semi-high-speed train. With aerodynamic design, distributed traction and advanced braking system, it was cleared for a top operational speed of 160 km per hour. But why the Vande Bharat train is not always operating at its top speed? Or, as a matter of fact, why other trains which are supposed to operate at their design speed of 110 km per hour are not operating at the same? The answer to this question is not simple or straightforward. For that, we need to understand the operational aspects of Indian Railways. Indian Railways existing tracks were built for older trains with max speed of 100 or 120 km per hour. Track quality of all the regions are not conducive to run trains on high speed. The rail tracks in France or Japan or China are tracks made from ballast rocks because such tracks can handle speeds up to 300 km per hour. But the same ballast tracks in India are unable to handle more speed due to the track geometry. Many of the tracks were built a century ago, although maintained appropriately but not scaled for high-speed operations. In addition to that, if the train must go around a curvature at a very high speed, then the curvature of track and banking angle need to be accordingly. Then comes the track gauge. In India, the track is broad gauge, whereas the global standard for high-speed rail is standard gauge. For a high-speed rail operation, the track foundation needs to be very stable, which is achievable in standard gauge in a cost-effective manner, and the construction is more versatile as well as standardized to global requirements. India, being a country of diverse terrain, the rail routes have bridges in rail network, and many of them would be a century old, and hence some of them would have temporary speed restriction or permanent speed restriction of 30 to 50 km per hour. In order to cross the bridges, the train need to slow down and then again after the speed restriction, they would again speed up, which is a major constraint for semi-high speed or high speed operation. Indian Railway is a big network with multiple places being connected via junctions. Junction crossings where tracks intersect or change direction affect a train's operational speed due to various safety and operational considerations. These include speed restrictions at point and crossings, the need for isolating lines at interlock stations, and the complexity of track switching. So trains can't go high speed while switching tracks on junction crossing without the risk of derailing. Some of the hilly and rain prone areas it is difficult to keep running the trains at high speed as it can cause accidents. For example, in Konkan Railway during the monsoon season, the trains are allowed a maximum speed of only 75 km per hour. Climbing steep mountain roads or passes significantly impact train speed due to reduced traction and increased resistance. The steeper the incline, the locomotive need to produce more tractive effort to maintain grip on the tracks. At the same time, higher wheel addition is also necessary, which is achieved by high weight of the locomotive. Without that, it may lead to wheel slippage or reduced speed. This is due to gravity pulling the train downwards, requiring more power and effort to climb. India still has many unmanned level crossing and unfenced track section, in absence of which, Trains in India have to slow down in order to ensure the safety of humans and livestock. For high-speed rail operations, the track need to be secured against any unauthorized access, just like a bullet train corridors. While trains are deemed to be operating at 160 km per hour, 
drivers don't have the time to spot and react to traditional signal posts. Automatic train protection systems like Kavach, centralized traffic control, and real-time monitoring are the necessity of the hour. Good thing is that these are being rolled out, but it is work in progress. Congestion or lack of track infrastructure is probably one of the prime reasons which affects the average speed of a train. For example, in the New Delhi Kanpur, Ilhabad, Mughal Sarai section, despite having capability of operating trains at 130 km per hour, is still struggling to run the trains at 110 km per hour on due to heavy congestion. There are primarily two reasons in this case. One being the route is heavily crowded with freight trains as well as the major stations where the trains need to wait for 15 to 20 minutes don't have enough platforms to hold the trains for that long. Most of the time, trains are keep waiting at the outer of the major junction due to lack of available platforms. Last but not the least, the Indian trains are expected to have frequent stoppages after every 20 to 30 kilometers, which makes it difficult to achieve an average speed of 110 km per hour. It takes time for a train to accelerate from zero and attain the top speed of 160 km per hour. Most of our prestigious trains have become a crawler due to the unnecessary stoppages provided to them. But this is achievable with an electrical multiple unit train like Vande Bharat, which has distributed tractive power generation which can achieve faster acceleration. But that won't be possible unless the above mentioned factors support it. All right, so we got it that why the trains are slow. But it is not that Indian railways are not working towards improving the situation. Currently, all tracks are getting upgraded to at least 130 km per hour operational speed. Subsequently, with additional changes like implementation of coverage system, upgradation of railway signaling system, replacing all age-old trains with new locomotives with advanced train control and monitoring system, local haul trains getting converted to electrical multiple unit trains, the fencing of railway tracks, level crossings are being converted with overbridge or underpass, dedicated freight corridor, and increasing the lanes for higher train movement. This will certainly help to improve the speed. Lots of infrastructure projects are going to come up and the future of railway in India is very bright. If you found this video informative, give it a like. Got a question? Drop it in the comment below. And hey, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button since more than 90% of our viewers are not yet subscribed. So please subscribe to the channel for more such contents. Thanks a lot.